guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about two situations that have made me realize that i needed to make a change in my life so i'm pretty sure you've probably told yourself i'll make this tomorrow or i'll start tomorrow as a statement that kind of pushes us to start with a new habit or make a new change whether it is mental physical or environmental change but sometimes you start that change and you don't follow through and something happens and discourages you from continuing. And, you know, sometimes what really stops us from doing that is not having a healthy relationship with our own self. And I feel like a lot of us are going through that, through those transitional stages from adolescence to adulthood where that transition from high school to whatever you're going to do afterwards a lot of us probably think we should have our life figured out by now but in reality a lot of us don't and we're still struggling with that and we don't really hear much about it because we think a lot about the positive which is good but sometimes we kind of have to cope and help ourselves to reach that point in life where we feel content and satisfied with what we're doing. So the first situation that I realized that I needed to make a change and try a new habit was when I found myself being very negative when this particular habit began. And I would just have these diminishing thoughts just control the way I thought throughout the day. They were very intrusive and I couldn't really think properly or focus. I would try the best I could. I would force myself to focus, but I would just have constant headaches and it would not help me at all, especially now that I'm in school, this is not healthy. So what I started doing is kind of taking two steps back instead of three steps forward. Instead of trying to be like, it's okay, Amy, keep going, keep going. No, I stopped, recognized what I was doing. And I kind of associated that negative thought with a positive affirmation. Rather than letting it control the way I thought, I decided to learn from it and not repeat it. Or if I did repeat it, just learn from it. I couldn't punish myself for whatever was happening. So when I recognize the old habit, the old situation, I think about it, take two steps back and think better instead of pushing forward and avoiding it and internalizing it. Because that's when you start building a bad habit of keeping everything inside. And sometimes that's your way of coping. But if it interrupts your daily life, recognize that it's not helping you at all, especially for your mental health. So um, this is one of my notebooks that I use that helps me kind of relieve those negative thoughts and just de-stress myself. It has a little saying. It says she turned her cans into cans and her dreams into plans. And I basically just write out a lot of um, like what happened throughout the day that really triggered me. And it helps me kind of just release that that stress that I was feeling. Um, sometimes it'll be paragraphs, a whole paragraph, um, very tiny lettering, writing, I mean. This is a poem that I wrote, it's called A Smiling Tear. Um, this is back in 2017 as well, so it's been a while that I had this note. The situation that made me realize that I had to make a change or destroy this bad habit and make a new habit was um, my physical appearance. I I remember constantly comparing myself to a model, whether I saw it on Instagram or on a magazine or on the billboard. I constantly compared myself and I was like, I wanna look like this. I remember this at a very young age as well. I remember exercising with frustration and anger and I wanted to 
exercise every day and it would not be the most effective exercises either. I don't even remember what I did, but I remember being mad and I did not see the number in my weight go down at all. I was frustrated and I did it for a while, um, but it didn't help at all. I was still angry, but compared to now, how I approach exercising now, I recently started two weeks ago exercising and I didn't think about it negatively. I enjoy exercise. I like lifting weights. I like doing it. It helps me relieve some stress as well. So I exercise, but I don't think about body image at all anymore. I'm accepting who I am and I'm I'm loving the person, the shape I'm in, the person I'm becoming. Because I can't be too hard on myself because if I am, then that identity, the way I portray myself, people are going to start portraying me that way. And you don't want that. You want to make sure you put the best of you in front. Is that instead of associating these habits with negative thoughts, try to learn from them and associate them, associate them with a positive habit or a positive thought. Being honest with yourself and recognizing the, the situation will help you move forward and make decisions in life. And this will also help you into accepting yourself for who you are. You will build that strength to become the better version of yourself. Trying these new habits and making these changes increase your confidence and decrease these stressful factors in your life. Have you ever tried any new habits even recently in a year or within a month? If so, just think about it and see how this new habit has really helped you or how you want this new habit to help you. Always remember that life will not be easy, but there is always a purpose. If you're going through the same situation where you feel lost, where in the stage that you feel like you need to have things settled, don't worry. You don't need to be settled right now because there's always a way to find clarity within yourself. So thank you for watching.